What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I have a super fun video planned. I'm literally so excited. We are going to go ahead and we are going to mix together all of my foundations. You guys, I'm like kind of a foundation hoarder. I feel like this video is showing that to me because I have like 25 plus foundations in this drawer that we're going to mix together today to try and make the most full coverage foundation ever. I'm not the originator of this video idea. I'm going to put the first creator, at least to my knowledge, the first person to come up with this. I'm going to put her name on the screen right here so you guys can check her out. But I've seen it going around. It seemed like something super fun to do with you guys. And I'm actually like really eager to see what happens because I pretty much own almost all full coverage foundations, although I do have a few like light to medium coverage ones as well. So I'm eager to see like what's gonna happen when we mix them all together. Like, will it be the most full coverage amazing foundation ever or is it gonna be horrible? I also have such a range in colors of foundations too because I go from not self tan to self tan and anywhere in between. So this is just gonna basically be like a science experiment and I'm excited for it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. The button is right down below. I know you guys know where it is. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have my little mixing bowl ready and we're just gonna to pick and choose and get going. I'm first gonna go in with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I think most of these have pumps, so that should make this easier. And I'm just gonna do like one pump of each because I have a lot of foundations. Then I have the LA Girl Pro Coverage. I haven't used this one in a long time. Ooh, it's weird to see like how different already even like the consistencies of foundations are. Like those two are completely different. Then I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Drop that in there. Then the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Becca Aqua Luminous. That was a little much. <laughs> the new Maybelline Super Stay. This is gonna create a lot of foundation. The Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. Ooh, this one is like <laughs> way thicker than the other ones. Jeez Louise. But I remember liking this foundation. It's been a while since I've used it though. The Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. I actually don't really love this foundation, but I still have it, so I'm gonna put it in there. Ooh, yeah, again, that's like a really thick one. The NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Armani Luminous Silk. This is like a super bougie foundation. I never use it just because it's so nice, so I don't wanna like run out. MAC Studio Fix. This was like my old OG. Oh God, I'm running low on this one. We might not be able to use it. Nothing's coming out, so. This one needs to be retired to the trash. Lancome Tint Idole. I don't know how to say it, but you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. The new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Urban Decay Naked Skin. Laura Mercier Silk Cream. It's like a little squeezy tube. Just squeeze some out. Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. All right, let's pump some out. I remember actually really liking this foundation. I don't know why I haven't reached for it. It was like all the way at the bottom. I guess that's why. Too Faced Born This Way, my OG. Kat Von D Locket. This is like the most gold coverage foundation like ever. Yeah, see, it's so thick. Urban Decay All Nighter, which is a very, very close second to the Kat Von D. They remind me of each other. Also very thick. Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. This one I'm gonna have to pour in because there's no pump. But I think the MAC pumps work with Estee Lauder or is it? I think it's MAC. I know there's one brand um, that works. Just do a little bit or a lot. That's a light coverage one, so. But I surprisingly really like it. And then last but not least, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This one has like a little spatula, so I'm just gonna try and like get some off and drop it in there like so. All right, so they are all mixed together. It looks so weird. Like you can totally tell the different consistencies as well as all of the different colors and it just looks so like interesting. I'm really eager to see like what this ends up coming out. So I'm going to actually mix this together with, <laughs> this is a cheese cutter, like one of those cheese knives, I guess. But um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna mix it together with because I had it, so I don't have like any spatulas or anything. It smells, it's weird because you know how the Wet n Wild one smells like paint that's what these all smell like mixed together but i only put the smallest amount of the wet and wild one here so it can't be because of that it just must be because of just all of them mixing together it definitely smells just like the wet and wild foundation which smells similar to paint but i like it so i still use it the color actually looks really really good though like the color looks pretty pretty nice so hopefully that will work it also didn't make as much foundation as like i thought it would because normally i guess i would use like two to three pumps on my face, where this is like 25-ish pumps, but I don't know, it didn't like make that much foundation. I thought I was gonna make so much more. All right, so I'm just actually gonna use this to like put it on my face because this is not sharp at all. I would probably not suggest doing this if you're doing it at home, but I mean, I know it's clean and it's not sharp, so I'm just gonna use it. All right, so I'm just gonna 
go in <laughs> and uh, put this on my face. The color actually looks really good. Um, so I'm not mad about the color. Very cold too, but I feel like it's probably just because I'm using this cheese knife to uh, put it on my face. All right, so I'm gonna do that much at first. I have absolutely no idea how many pumps that is, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna go in and blend it out and see what it ends up looking like. Color looks good. Yeah, and the paint, the paint smell is still very apparent. <laughs> Which is so funny because so many people like give the wet and wild foundation a bad rap because of the smell and trust me Like I don't love the smell, but since I like the foundation I still use it but I wonder if You know because mixing all the chemicals of all those different foundations together It caused that like exact same smell because it definitely can't be from the wet and wild because I did not use a lot of that foundation at all Okay, so the color is like pretty good actually like in comparison to my neck. It's a little bit deeper um, but with my concealer and everything, it'll work fine. It's weird though, because when I was first applying it, I thought that it looked pretty luminous, like almost dewy on the skin. But now that it's drying down, it looks like really matte, which is so weird. So it must have been like the mixture of like some of my luminous foundations with some of my more matte foundations that like when applying it, it looked luminous, but now it's honestly pretty matte on my skin. Like there's not really any dewiness to it at all. And as far as coverage goes, it definitely is full, full coverage. I did have a few lighter coverage foundations in there, but the majority of mine are medium to full, so I did expect that. It definitely is full coverage, and I have like a lot of foundation left still, so I think I only used about two to three pumps. Obviously, because I use this, I don't know like exactly, but that's how much I would estimate that I used. So yeah, I don't know. The only thing that's tripping me up is the, the smell. I feel like that's really, really weird. Like it literally smells like paint. So it has to be like the foundations mixing together or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup, go about my day and I'll wear this throughout the rest of the day and I'll check in with you guys. It is 10.30 right now. So I'll probably check in with you guys maybe like three or four o'clock to let you guys know my final thoughts on what I think about mixing all my foundations together and if it made the most perfect foundation ever. So I will see you guys soon. What's up you guys? So it is 3.04 p.m. right now and I feel like I've already gathered my thoughts on the mixing of all my foundations together and whether or not I like it and I feel like the answer is no. I did zoom you guys in a little bit so you could see a bit better and like honestly it's very full coverage so I will absolutely give it that like it's a super super full coverage foundation but it feels and looks so cakey on my skin like I feel like it aged me by like 20 years like it settled into my fine lines like around my mouth which a lot of my foundations do do that but this one was pretty bad and I feel like it really emphasizes my pores too like in this area which is like kind of weird because I don't normally like have lots of issues with that so I just feel like it settled into every little nook and cranny like even on my chin it just looks like cakey and I just want to take it off there's a fine line between being like super full coverage and nice and being cakey and I feel like this just ended up becoming a cakey mess and I'm just I'm just not about it. It's not like absolutely horrible. Like it's not the worst foundation I've ever tried, but I certainly would not do this every single day or probably ever again. It did last my skin really well. Like it's still like completely on. It didn't fade at all. Cause I feel like it's just clinging so much to my skin. And I still think it's just so weird how it became such a matte foundation when like more than definitely there was more like luminous foundations in there than there was matte. So I guess maybe like matte formulas are more powerful than the dewy luminous formulas and kind of take over when they're mixed together. But the foundation is very, very matte, which was kind of like a surprise to me. I thought it would be a little bit more on the dewy luminous side, like when I was first applying it, but the color was good. I will say that once I put my concealer and everything on, like the color looks pretty good in comparison to my chest and my neck. So that worked. But besides that, I just think I'm going to stick to mixing like two or three foundations together. Cause I don't think mixing a million foundations together is really practical and doesn't really work. I just feel like it, maybe it's too many formulas, too many different things at once for the skin to take. So yeah, that was like my little science experiment for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just like a fun little thing to do together. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.